Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International bringing you matters of faith. And like I said, I'm on the Rahab role. I'm, I'm talking about a woman who fascinates me and not only just fascinated me, but also did fascinate God because God put this woman in his hall of fame in Hebrews chapter 11. Her name is Rahab. We've brought out a couple of principles already concerning Rahab. But I choose to call this uh, morning's uh, message when others laugh open your eyes. Open your eyes when others laugh. Open your eyes when others are laughing. Open your eyes. And the uh, principle is very simple. You remember the Bible said when Re Joshua sent, Joshua chapter 6 verse 1 to 19, when Joshua sent the uh, two spies to go to the, um, to go and spy out Jericho, the Bible said um, they met a woman called Rahab who was a harlot, who was a prostitute. And Rahab told them something. And what Rahab said to them was very, very interesting. Rahab said to them, no, I know who you are. You are part of a victorious conquering army. And then look at what she said. We have heard of the testimonies that God gave to you. We have heard of how God treated other people, how God gave you victories. We have heard. And she said, other people are afraid but I want to be part of that, of that testimony. He said, we have heard what God did for you. And everywhere you go, God gives you victory. God just gave you a recent victory. God just did something for you. God just gave you a testimony not too long ago. We have heard. And look at Rahab, well, Rahab said, my eyes are open to possibilities. That same God who gave you that victory, that same God, who did things for you can also give me a victory that same God I can be part of your of, of your victory I can also have a testimony that is what Rahab was saying so Rahab was saying I have seen you people with a testimony it's not time for my testimony all I'm trying to say this morning keep your eye on the testimony of other people when you see other people uh, get testimonies God do things for them it's an indication that yours is also on the way Look on the, on the testimony of other people with applause. Look on the, other, um, uh, the testimony of other people with praise. Look on the testimony of other people with appreciation. And yours is on, the, on its way. What you, what you make happen for others, God would also make happen for you. Be, be, be excited about the testimony of other people. That's what Rahab said. Oh, that God has given you victory. That God has given you a big breakthrough. And I'm, I'm ready to be part of that. I'm, part, I'm ready to be part of that celebration. I also want a taste of that God. I believe God would also give me a victory. Listen, anytime I see somebody go up, anytime I see somebody with a testimony, I just position myself. My eyes are wide open for my testimony. Because you know one thing, the God we serve, look at the way he describes himself in the old. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Mm. So God has space for Abraham who is called the father of faith. And yet, in the midst of famine, he went to Egypt. Not out of faith, but out of fear of starvation. God is, is, is the God of Abraham who God gives a promise and says, you'll get a son. And then the wife advises him. So the wife's advice, married to his loins, produce Ishmael, who is giving trouble and giving trouble to today. That's Abraham for you. But God is his God. And the Bible says, God is the God, the God of Isaac. The God of Isaac, that, you mean Isaac, the sissy? The, 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 the mamaba? The Isaac who gets married to a wife and then takes his wife to his mother's tent. Behave like my wife, my, my mother. Talk like my mother. Do everything like my mother. That's Isaac. You're talking about Isaac uh, who, who, before he blesses you, you need, you need to give him venison. You need to satisfy his stomach before he gives you a blessing. He's his God. Then he's God of Jacob. Jacob, the thief, 
Jacob the supplanter? Jacob the cheat? Who even cheats, cheats his own, uh, cheated his own father-in-law? You're talking about Jacob. But he's God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob. Oh boy, he's, Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marco is God. He's my God, I don't know about you. So you know what? I'm excited at the testimony of others. It's an indication that God would also do for me. So you know what? Lift up your eyes. The testimony of someone, keep your eye on the testimony of other people. Let the testimony of other people be an encouragement to you that God would also do this for you. So here's the principle. Keep your eyes when others laugh. Open your eyes when others laugh because you're about to laugh too. See you later.